There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to the first video of the electrochemistry chapter. In this video, we're going to cover the first stop point, which says explain the displacement of metals from solution in terms of transfer of electrons. There's a couple different things we need to go over before we start. First, that word explain. That means that we have to give some detail. We don't just have to say that it, it's all about transfer of electrons, but we have to explain how that happens as well. So explain is more detailed than just identify. Then we have to talk about the displacement of metals. Displacement is just a different word for the movement. And this will make more sense once we go over it, but it's kind of the movement. So movement or moving, so the movement of metals from solution in terms of the transfer of electrons. Yeah, this is the part we have to explain. So we have to explain how the transfer of electrons makes metals move from solution to the actual solid part. So I'm going to explain all that in a second. And then before we start again, we want, I want to make sure we go over two different words that come up in this video. Um, cation. So cation is an ion that has lost two electrons. So ion, any ion is anything that has lost or gained electrons. It's not neutral. And cat means lost. So in this case, for example, we're going to cover copper. And if it's a cation, it has copper 2 plus. And that 2 plus, 2 plus means it has lost two electrons. So that 2 plus is that whole 2e minus. And e is an electron. So this, has, this means it has lost these two electrons. It's not its neutral state. Whereas on the other hand, if you have an elemental state, so this here, that is in its natural state, so that means it has no charge, it's not negative or positive, it's not an ion, and it's not part of a compound. What I mean by part of a compound is, for example, if we have H2O, so water itself, H2O, in this case, oxygen is not in its elemental state because it's part of a compound. So H2O, this oxygen here, is not in its elemental state because it's part of the compound. So again, a cation was an ion that has lost two electrons, for example, for example, copper 2 plus. And the elemental state refers to it being in its natural state. So for example, copper not having 2 plus, but just being copper. So this here is actually a picture of copper. Not copper 2 plus or copper 2 minus, but just copper itself. And I'm going to refer to this, video, this picture again at the end. Uh, but this is how it looks like if it hasn't lost or gained electrons. If it's just in its normal state. So I'm going to go over this picture here now. And this says that we have, in this case, we've got two things that happen. We've got step one, which is this step here. And then this is a divide. So step two is this part here, this part here. What we have is we have copper solution. So... You can see here down here we have copper ion solution, so cation solution. This here is your copper solution. Copper solution. So what I can actually imagine is these two pluses just are the copper ions, the two plus copper ions, and the whole solution is made up of only of these copper ions. Sometimes you see the actual color of it being blue. That's probably more realistic as well. But I just made that color to be the same color as these copper ions, just so you can imagine that this is full of these 2 plus copper ions. So copper is usually a metal, a solid metal, but if they're 2 plus, they can actually be dissolved. They're ions. So this, this solution is just full of copper ions. What we're going to do is we're going to put this zinc strip, which is this one here, which is a metal in its elemental state. So zinc metal strip. And it's in its elemental state, which means that it is in its natural state, so it's solid. I, this, were, this was a solution. This here is solid. And what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put this strip into the solution. And then we have a couple of observations. So the observations is, first observation is that color fades. And I'm going to explain why that all that happens in a second. And I'm also going to show you an animation as well after this, just to 
hone in that point, what, what exactly happens. So first we can see that color fading, here is dark orangey, here it's light orangey. And we also have a deposit, um, a deposit forming. So this deposit is forming on the actual zinc strip, so we can see here we've got our deposit forming on the actual zinc strip. And I'm going to explain now why that happens. So in step one, what we had is we had zinc in its elemental state. So elemental state. And we had the copper ion here as a cation. So it has lost two electrons at the moment, this copper ion. So this was the, the um, cation. Cation means it has lost two electrons. But as soon as we actually go to the second step, as soon as we put in the zinc strip, the zinc actually donates electrons. So zinc becomes the cation because it's actually donated electrons. So zinc is the cation in the second part. Although these parts that are inside the solution, because what this zinc has done, the zinc has actually donated these electrons. It's lost electrons. So it's donated electrons. And because lost two electrons, it becomes two plus. It was in a mental state beforehand in number one. And then the parts which are inside become two plus because they've lost two electrons. And those two electrons that were lost, these ones here, come again here. Because what happens with copper in the second step is copper actually grabs these two electrons. right? So this means two plus means it's got two electrons less than it should have. It grabs these two electrons. And now it's in its elemental state. right? So here it's in its elemental state, which means it's actually solid in exactly the way it should be, which is why you can see its deposits starting to appear. So these are not liquid solid, these are solid particles of copper. Right, so here, so I've written this part here with, that doesn't have the two plus on it. These are your copper ions. Okay, not copper ions, but copper, just elemental copper, so in a solid form. And you can imagine again that picture over here, this is how they would look like. I mean, it would just be deposits of this kind of stuff all over the zinc because they've come out of solution, attacked the zinc, and put deposit on the zinc itself. Right? So that's what it means, explain the displacement of metals from solution in terms of transfer of electrons. So these solution particles, so these uh, copper ion solution particles, they have left the solution and gone onto the metal. The reason why is because they've grabbed electrons from the zinc and when you've grabbed these electrons, then copper ions can turn into copper, solid form. And this solid form is visible, it's um, a metal, and we can see these deposits. So we can see the metal is displaced from solution onto the actual metal strip itself. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you an animation, and hopefully the animation will clear up anything, any confusion, if there was a confusion. Um, we've got a couple of things here. We have our copper, our zinc here. This is our zinc strip. As you can see, we've got our zinc strip atoms here, which are neutral at the moment. They don't have a charge. And we also have our copper. So this is our copper solution. And again, as you can see in a copper solution, we have two plus charges, which means they're cations. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the zinc strip. And we're actually going to place it in solution. And as soon as it's in solution, you're going to have these copper ions start attacking the zinc. And once they're sort of surrounding it, they're going to grab electrons. So by grabbing electrons, I mean that transfer of electrons. So you can see these two pluses going from the copper to the zinc. And what that means is you actually have electrons moving from the copper from the zinc to the copper, and now the zinc have lost electrons, and the copper are in its no normal natural state. And then what happens is you have the deposit happening, so you can see that now it's not um, gray anymore, it's actually dark orange, because copper has deposited on it. Right, so that was the transfer of electrons. I hope that um, was useful, that animation was useful. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly summarize the different parts that were important. Um, so what we need to have displacement, if displacement were to occur, what we need to have happen is we need to have a metal presence, so a metal strip. 
And this is, I mean, you can have it be different as well. It doesn't have to be a metal strip. But in this case, because when it comes to electrochemistry, we often deal with these kind of examples. I'm just going to go through what most of the examples in your course will be like. We have a uh, cation solution. So cation solutions, so these were the two pluses. I think that we had a two plus on them, which means they have lost two electrons. They're looking for electrons. You have a metal strip, which was in its elemental state. That means that it has not lost yet or gained anything, elemental state. And we mentioned earlier, what we do then is we put the metal strip into solution. And then you have a transfer electron. So you have a transfer from, from metal strip. In this case, it was zinc. Would we'll give away electrons. So that will give away electrons. And then the metal strip itself, whatever that was, will become the cation itself. So we have, then the metal becomes, the metal strip becomes, becomes a cation. So that has to happen. And then we also had to have the cation solution. So the cation accepts electrons and then what happens is your cation turns into elemental state turns into its elemental state which means we can now see it it's not in solution anymore we can actually see it Deposit. Uh, this is where the, posit the deposits happen. So it's kind of the three main, uh, four main things we have to have present. First, we need to have a metal strip that can give away electrons. That uh, metal strip then becomes a cation. And the reason why it becomes a cation is because it gives its electrons to the cation in the solution. And then that cation becomes the elemental state. So it's kind of a swapping of roles. And this cation is now visible. In the case of copper, it would look like like this, a bit like this. Um, and there's also one really important thing. It only works if the metal strip, so the zinc part here, is more reactive than the actual solution. I'm not going to explain this in this video. I'm actually going to cover it in the next video. But the, whatever the strip is has to be more reactive than the solution, or otherwise nothing would happen. But yeah, I'll explain that in the next video. Hopefully that was it. It was useful. Thank you for watching.